Hi everybody, this is Muvit, the content management system for Adobe News. In this screencast, we will work with the pages widget and we'll see how it works. This is our website, this is our administration panel, this is the plugin pages. Double click, and we can see that we have worked with it already. The page is created already. This is the text you can see on the website now. And let's edit it somehow to see how it will be displayed on the website. I will mark this text with color, red for instance, and I will paste an illustration here. I create a folder, a new folder, and I download an image, this one for example, an illustration, okay, it has downloaded. I go back to the folder, I copy the link, and I click the illustration icon and Ctrl V, I paste the illustration, the width will be given automatically, the height can be put by the user, so I enter it, OK, click OK, you can see the illustration here, and I click Save. On the website I refresh the page, and do you see the result? The text is red and the illustration is right here. And this is how it looks like and let's do it together from the very beginning. I delete the page, close the window, I delete the illustration and let's do it together from the very beginning. We open our project in Muse. This is the page we work with now. I do have a widget here. This page widget, I delete it and I show you how to, how, how to put it in here into the page. I click the Muvit icon see the list, the, choose the plugins, I see our plugins, our four plugins, and now I need this one, pages. I click the uh, blue crystal to install it. I open the file, it is downloaded. I open the project itself. We have a JavaScript widget. I open the folder with my project. And I just drag and drop it to the project. I give the width chosen. 800 in my case. Okay, here it is done. What do we do now? We go back to the administration panel, close this window and open the pages plugin. I create a new page here. And this ID number this is the ID number we will use here. So right here, I enter it right here. We have other parameters here. The class, this is the CSS. We will work with it a, a bit later. Sorting from first to last, from last to first, and by administrator. We don't use we are not gonna use it now because we have only one element here. OK, enter, and we send the site to the FTP. 
as the download goes, I go back to the administration panel. I open the new page and give it a header. Any header I want. Hi, everybody. And the text will be testing the pages plugin dot replace we go to other website <clears throat> this is how it looks like now these are the changes well it looks quite empty let's bring the text back the content so we take any text you need We will copy the header and the text. Here is the header. Okay, we open our page. This is the header. Here is the text. We just copy it just like this. Uh, but I should say that the style <laughs> is copied too, so if you don't need to copy the style from the document, you need to work in, in the source regime, in the source mode, here is, here is uh, the icon for the source mode. So you just enter it and work here in the source mode. Control B. We close the source mode and here we are. This is the text without the style. This is how it looks on the website. So what else? Uh, we change the layout somehow. Paragraph, paragraph, new line, or maybe like this, the list, we make a list like this. Okay. Like this. Okay, switch it off. Replace. We go to the website, refresh the page, and we can see that it looks much nicer like that. <clears throat> Let's paste an illustration here. We go to our page. And in the left corner, you can see this icon, illustrations icon. We create a new folder. Pages. Create. Download. We see the field for downloading. Choose an illustration. This one, for instance, is downloaded. We go back in here. We can give the parameters to illustration the name. For example, first page. And the description. We may need it for a gallery later. Okay, replace. What do we have here? Uh, here are the icons for uh, copying the link. The small size, the medium size, 
Here is the small size, the medium size and the original size on the top. I copied the medium size. I go back to the page. Put the cursor to the place where I want the illustration to be downloaded, to be pasted. Now I see the icon images and I paste the link I have just copied here. The width will be generated automatically. The height, I want it to be like this, for example. My advice is to make the illustrations in the Photoshop beforehand to prepare them. Now I think I need the margins, vertical margin. Okay, here it is. The padding, the padding. The alignment. And replace. I go back to the page, refresh it. Here it is. Okay, done. We have the header, we have an illustration. And this header will be the name of the tab, will be the title of the page automatically. So that the name you've chosen will be the title of the page. It's quite convenient. Now the second question is how to customize the design of this block for your needs. It's really easy. We go to the administration panel, close these windows, click the Muvit icon and enter the CSS editor. Right here we create a new folder, test for example, create. Here I create the styles for parameters. I want to choose two parameters now, the header and the text. Okay, two parameters, two styles. Let's start with the top from the top. Uh, this is the name parameter. It will be the header. I choose the font for the header. I choose the size of the text, the text position, center. The color of the text, I choose this one, this one, okay, done. And the next one, the next style, the style for our text. I choose the font. I choose the size and the color, the black one. You can see other parameters here, test them. You can find everything you need for customization, for your design customization. A lot of parameters here. What do we do next? We copy the parameter and we just put it here. In this field, we just put the name of, of the style. Now we send it to FTP and see the result.
Okay, we refresh the page and see the result. The style has changed, the header, the text, so the, the color and the fonts we've chosen. But we can see that the header and the illustrations are too close to each other. How do we deal with it? We go back to our styles and here we look for the padding field, padding, and give the padding. Refresh the page on the website. Okay, looks much nicer now. And the text also is too close to the illustration, so we can do it just like this. So we, we just give the padding to the illustration itself. Okay, so it looks much better. We also could give the padding to the illustration using the style of the text. Give the padding to the text so there would be much more space between uh, the illustration and the text. Here is the outer, outer margin. Okay. This is how you change the styles, how you customize your design. Okay, thank you for your attention. Watch our screencasts, develop with us. Bye.